Hello, this is Christy. Welcome to another Zara Designer Pro tutorial. Today we will be looking at the mold tool in Zara Designer Pro. You can find this tool on this menu here where the bevel menu is. It flies out and then the mold tool is this little curvy thing here. So let me show you how this tool works. It's a very simple tool to use. Let's create a bit of a text element because I want to demonstrate this on a text. Let's make it large. The font color doesn't matter. So this is my plain text object. Of course, you have all these handles to resize it and rotate it and all that stuff. But using the mold tool allows you to create two types of transforms to your text. One of them is the mold the envelope tool. It's called an envelope, which allows you to surround the object with sort of a round envelope and you can rotate it to create arch to text and and squish text and so on and we'll see how it works and then there's a second group here that is the perspective group which means you can apply perspective transforms so let's have a quick look at the perspective one first so if i apply the default perspective click on this you notice that my object gets surrounded with this rectangle now that doesn't do much unless i start pulling on these corners so i have four corners here to my perspective if i click and drag one of them notice my perspective is deformed and my text is deformed with it if i pull this one again like that you notice my text appears to sort of going further away from me from the viewer if i change this corner it makes it, it looks like it's kind of falling down and if i pull this one and pull it closer notice that little uh, point that little uh, hair crosshairs coming in that actually is the vanishing point of my perspective so this is how you create perspective with your text of course if you know what you're doing you know what you want to get out of it you just click on the default perspective and that will give you the starting point and then you can create any perspective of text you want like the star wars text for example or you can apply these default perspectives like the one vanishing to the right vanishing to the left to the top or the bottom so then you can use these as a starting point and you can adjust the vanishing point also just that one so notice how i'm making my text go towards that point towards that point if I put it all the way there, it becomes, you know, hard to see what it is and click back to go to the default perspective. Now, the only one thing that it doesn't really uh, I don't like on this is that the text is still text, but it is no longer uh, editable. So I so if I click on in here, this just creates another text. It doesn't allow me to still edit the text and keep the mold active on it. So make sure that before you start playing with this deform tool this this mold tool um, you have your right text that you have because you cannot type it anymore and of course it doesn't just work on text you know you can use any graphic object like our famous star here okay let's make this one orange click on the mold tool and apply a perspective and kind of start playing with the corners to make this star kind of vanish around um, so that is that is one tool of the one application of the mold tool now let's go back to the other one so I'm going to take the same text object and reset my perspective and let's go to the default envelope now you cannot apply a an envelope and a perspective on the same object at the same time so if you need to do that you first need to deform an object using the initial mold convert it to editable shapes and then apply the second one I have my text in here go to the mold tool and this time let's apply a default envelope now that doesn't do anything again it looks like the perspective tool but watch ha what happens if I zoom in here and I click on one of the corners notice I don't, I don't know if you see these red dots here. These are actually Bezier, tra Bezier transformers for this corner. So now if I drag on one of them, notice that the line no longer transforms as a straight line, but it becomes a curve. So it starts pulling on my object in the direction I've done it. So I go to this side as well, drag there, 
and this one drag here. So look at this, I've created wavy text. I can of course play with the horizontal ones as well. Click on this one to go up and this one to go down. And again on this one, let's do this and go down like that. So my text is kind of wavy and warped. Now, this is what it, the envelope does. It allows you to transform objects using the Bezier curve rather than a straight line, like the perspective. Of course, if I apply a perspective now, it just resets my object. So that's what I said before. If you wanna, if you wanna apply something else on top of this, first of all, you need to right click on the object and convert it to editable shapes. If you right click on your object and you don't see the cre convert to editable shapes, that means that maybe Zara have moved it out because sometimes it's in this menu, sometimes it's not. You can click on this and go to the arrange menu and you will find this here, convert to editable shapes. Click on this and now my object has actually lost the mold that I had. It has retained the shape I gave it, but now I am free to actually add another mold to it or a perspective. So you know, you notice it retains that deformity or the warp uh, I apply to it, but then I can apply something else. So that's the only way you can apply multiple molds to the same object. Let's delete this one and go back to the text just for a second. So go back to the mold tool. And of course, just like the perspective tool that allows you to create some pre defined perspectives. The same with this mold tool here. You can do a circular one, an elliptical one, you know, a squish one like this or one at the top. I can vaguely remember a program I was using back in the day on a PC XT called Banner, which allowed you to do this kind of text effects. Uh, yes, I am that old. And uh, there are more options here. You can detach the mold to from the object and also you can remove it from this here. You can toggle a mesh. So if you want to see how the intermediary sort of steps are, I don't know if you see this on my screen here, but it's very, very faint. And you can actually deform your object starting from this point and you will see this mesh kind of creating the inside of your object so that it helps you guide, um, guide you better in creating it. Uh, fair enough. So this is, uh, you can rotate the contents if you decide that your object was oriented the wrong way. And also you can copy the mold shape and apply it to something else. So if I have this shape like this and I copy this and then I go to another art text, I can now apply the same one over to this one. You need to first tell it what you want to paste. So then you're going to paste. Basically, if you want to bring the same mold to another object, you first need to paste. Um, you need to apply to the object the same type of mold that you applied on the previous one and then use this paste button to paste it. That's the only uh, way to do it. So if I go to this one and I go to the mold tool, I apply this perspective. Then I go to this uh, and copy it, by the way. Then I go to the other object, apply the default perspective and then paste that here again. So that's going to do the same perspective here. So that's easy if you want to do a funny looking sort of deformed object and then you want to have the same effect on another one. So that may be a solution if you apply this mold or an envelope to a text object and you discover that your text needs to change. You can then copy that from that object and paste it onto another one and it will apply the same one. So this was the mold uh, tool with the perspective and envelope. And uh, it's really quite simple and quite easy to get a hang of. Thank you for watching my tutorials. And if you find these interesting, feel free to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like them and stay tuned for more. Look in the description for a link to the playlist where I have all of the Zara tutorials and um, see you next time.